from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here because here we help you to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. And so attitude is so important. When people ask us, how's business? I suggest you use one word with enthusiasm, unbelievable. Nobody will know what you're up to, but they'll think you're doing great. This is episode number 118 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one a capital idea. I was 19 years old the first time I visited Washington, D.C. You know, my family had immigrated to the United States when I was just nine years old. That was 10 years before that. And I felt a great pride in my new country. It took five years of effort and everything my family had to come to America. So after graduating from high school in 1966 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I worked in a small town radio station not far from Tulsa during June and July of that year in order to make enough money to go to Washington. I wanted to see the nation's capital and meet the senators and congressmen from my state. Now, I wasn't old enough then to rent a car, so I rented a moped to get around Washington, D.C., and I will never forget how magnificent the White House, the Capitol Building, the Washington Monument, the Lincoln and Jefferson Memorials, and the Smithsonian looked. Through the years, I've had a few additional opportunities to visit Washington and to see the impressive symbols of our country. And last week, after completing a speaking engagement in Baltimore, I had the latest opportunity to drive through the Capitol. My emotions are always moved and touched by being there. The feeling I get every time I visit Washington, D.C. is that of a great foundation of a great nation. Whereas the U.S. has a great foundation in its capital, the same is important for us as individuals. A great foundation means a positive attitude with a strong self-image that gives you confidence to accomplish the goals you desire. A good self-image is developed over time and is greatly determined by our attitude, the people with whom we surround ourselves, and our daily actions. The United States uh, was not born with a capital, it took an incredible effort and much determination on the part of many people. The Continental Congress rendered official the Declaration of Independence on July 4th of 1776. Now, between that year and 1790, Congress met in a number of locations in the Northeast. Between 1790 and 1800, the meeting place was Philadelphia. Now, there was much debate during those years as to the final location of the U.S. federal government. It was on July 16, 1790, that Congress passed a law permitting President George Washington to select a location for the Capitol. It was to be situated somewhere along the Potomac, and the President was to appoint three commissioners to oversee the project. President Washington selected an area encompassing 10 square miles from land situated on both sides of the Potomac in Maryland and in Virginia. Congress met for the first time in the new capital in November of 1800, and the transfer of government from Philadelphia was completed in June of 1801. Now, after President Washington started calling the area the Federal City, the commissioners eventually decided to call it the Territory of Columbia. Columbia was the feminine version of the name Columbus and was made popular after the Revolutionary War in patriotic poems and songs. The word territory was replaced in 1871 by the more popular term district. The name Washington was chosen by the commissioners in order to honor the president. Now, after the Congress approved the selection of the land along the Potomac River for the site of the new capital, the new federal city, President Washington selected a French-born engineer named Pierre-Charles L'Enfant to design it. He was to lay out the city and design the public buildings. Born in Paris in 1755, L'Enfant came to America in 1777 and entered the Continental Army as an engineer. Now, although he was severely wounded in battle in 1779, he quickly moved through the ranks, eventually becoming a major and serving under the immediate command of George Washington. Thus, when uh, an internationally respected group of masterminds was chosen to build the modern new capital city, 
Le Infant was selected to head the group. His plan included futuristic architecture and grand parkways. The streets were designed to include beautiful sights, rapid transit, contemporary elegance, and communication. The plans he created were considered impressive. Le Infant designed a grand city with a uh, radiating sweep of broad avenues that were intersected by a grid of north-south streets and highlighted by circles and squares that were ready to accept the monuments of future national heroes. He chose to place the Capitol building on Jenkins Hill because he felt it was a pedestal awaiting a monument. He then connected the Capitol with the White House, originally called the President's House, by a mile-long mile -long avenue. Although he was apparently a genius in his abilities to create grand plans, Le Enfant was also hot-headed, unreasonable, arrogant, and quick to take offense. After antagonizing the three commissioners, Washington fired him. Following Le Enfant's plans, construction of the city that exists today was begun. It would be many years before the nation would recognize the incredible, incredible vision and genius of Le Enfant. Thus, the lesson from this story is the fact that even with grand plans, our visions will not materialize without a good attitude. Having a positive can-do attitude can lead to great cooperation, success, and happiness. Now that's a capital idea. So the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV is the following. You may want to write it down. It's a good attitude affirmation. I choose to have a positive can-do attitude every day, and that brings me great happiness and success. I choose to have a positive can-do attitude every day, and that brings me great happiness and success. Thank you for being with us. If you like these messages and many people around the world do, please do me a favor. Forward this to five people you know suggest they go to my website so they can also subscribe, boazpower.com. They can subscribe to the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. And above all, I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.